Yes. Long time, my brother. It has been a very long time. Where have you been? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm still okay. I'm, I'm, I'm here and here. Mambo, here mambo in end of his own. Yes. Uh, uh, yeah, tuna, see, uh, size mambo is in the end of his own. Should I go with you? See, I go because I'm going to say that we're going to have a tax. We're going to have a tax. Hiyo ni kitu ya kwanza mimi sasa tunapigana na serikali lakini nasema kweli mm-hmm. we are being overtaxed let me tell you a story industry hapo kwaje si ndio kwa industry yangu ndo nimeengelelea kuna rafiki yangu juice anaishi hapa Denmark yes so unanijua mimi na Denmark ah. mbaya ni kupandanga tu kila siku <laughs> naelewa lakini <laughs> yeah. ako na kamera worth 4 million mm. aliniambia alikuwa nataka kukuja nayo Kenya ndio eh tufanye nayo kazi lakini sasa ananiambia kitu nafanya sikuje nayo Kenya mm. Ati ya kitoka na yuko akifika kwa airport ana taxi 1.8 million. Does that make sense? Onyele, I came to interview you nisikie mambo ya kuwa kwa bwana. Na wewe ni umenikumega huko na ni interview. Oh pole basi, mimi ni interview. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I've got okay. my friend here at least we catch up to hear mambo yanaeleaje. MCD is like talk show. Onyele, uh, kitambo ulikuwa msabatu, Adventist na ulikuwa unafanya mambo ya kwa kwako. Yeah. Na kumbuko ulikuwa kanisani vizuri. Ukaondoka kanisani, nywele sikizi nakaa hivi ya uh, usani usani. Yaani sikuoni kwa kanisa siku hizi. Shida iko hapa. Unajua MCDS unaona venye tu umeshaanza. Hiyo yeah. ndio njia moja ilifanya nikatoka kwa kanisa. Mm. Judgmental. Umesa, kwanza umesanisika mpaka nywele ukisema ati hapo ndio ati ati nywele siku hizi nakaa hivi. Sana manisa kama nywele nakaa hivi sifai kukuja kwa kanisa. Pole bas nimeuliza tu kitambo huko hivi. Yes. Uko ume unachana lengo at least una ikutulia. Japo ime ime hii kidogo. Ndio nauliza mvoi ilianza kunyesha wapi sikuoni siku hizi kanisani hakuna malivoi linyesha my dress my choice eh, your hair your choice my hair my choice sasa nikikuja kanisani unaona elder ananiangalia tu hivi nikiingia kwa nse kwa gate mm. anafanyia watu wengine hivi mkua mkua oneni 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 ula unafikiri mi sioni unafikiri so, mi sioni sasa singine mm. niko na nguo nyinyi watu wa kusema watu wa adventist kweli mm. mnakwanga na ubagusi Nikirununua nguo nikikuja nayo hii weekend nikuja nayo weekend nyingine mnaanza kusema anarudia nguo. Ah. Hiyo ni ukweli iko na nyinyi watu wa Ginene Adwen. So you were discouraged. Yes, I was discouraged by the people who were looking at you because of my hair mm. and I feel like putting my hair like that. Mm. Yes. Ojiri, another question maybe that uh, you visit to. Ni nini uh, unaona kama watu wa kanisa ya yetu tunaweza yes. tunafaa kubadilika. What do, what do we really need to change? Ndio mambo ya kind of Mwanana Yesu alisema hivi vizuri kwa Biblia. Let them come to me those who are heavily laden. Yes, unaona? Yes. Lakini sisi nyinyi kwa kanisa yenu kila mtu amevaa suit. Una understand? Mm. Yaani mtu mpaka kama amevaa nguo akiona nguo yake iko na matambara kidogo mm. anaogopa geti ya kanisa. Unaona? Mm. Hii nyimbo yake ni kama ni competition. Mtu akinunua suti hii wiki, mwingine ananunua suti nyingine ile wiki. Eh. Mwenye awesani ah, na hiyo competition kama mfuko yangu ifiki. Mm. Nikikuja na jinsi leo, nikuja na jinsi kesho. Naona watu wananiangalia angalia hivi, sinaogopa kuja kanisa. Lakini sioje hao watu hawaongee tu, lakini wewe ukuje ukuje kanisa. Ha? Siwaongee tu lakini wewe kwa industry yako ukuje kanisa. Ama wewe wewe sema tu uko busy Saturday. Hakuna ati niko busy Saturday. Hakuna wacha kuniforce na kuwa busy Saturday. Kwani kanisa ni dakika ngapi kukuja? Kuna issue litokezea hapa. Yeah. Yeah. Sisi kama MCs mm. na issue litokea juzi hapa. <laughs> Jamaa alivaa MC alivaa nguo ya mama kwenye event ya dada yule ambaye alikuwa anafanya launch. What is your take about it? Huyo MC kwanza ni rafiki yangu. Na kwanza kwanza ngoja kidogo. Yes. Kwanza huyo jamaa walimkemea wachungaji walimkemea na pa, na huyo dada alisimamisha kwa kanisa aliambiwa kwamba akae akae nje ya kanisa akatolewa ushirika. What's your take about it? You see? You see? Hiyo ndio kitu nilikuwa nasema. Mm. And I'm very mad about it. Mm. Imagine mtu anakataswa kukuja kwa sababu amejivaa kama mwanamke. Wapi? Kwa sababu walisema kwa Biblia, mm. Mungu anaangalia roho, angalia mavazi. Bwana asifiwe. <laughs> ha? Mungu anaangalia roho yako, angalia mavazi. Mm. In fact, MC Yamata is a good friend of mine. Oh, ni rafiki yako. Yes. Mm. MC Yamata mm. alikawia kabla nyota yake imguse, kusema ukweli. Ndio. Alikuwa anaita MC Yamata akakana hiyo jina miaka mingi mm. akitembea alikuwa anapatiwa 200 per day 
Una understand? Yeah. Amasa zingine 300 per week. Mm. Lakini Mungu akamwonyesha nyota. Mm. Akamwambia ukijivaa kama mwanamke na ujiite mimi yake, alafu ujipake lipstick. Oh mimi ni hiyo ni hiyo jina ya usanii. Yes, usani. Okay. Yes, sasa akajivaa na by the way, hiyo mm. talanta anaifanya vizuri sana. Mm. Na sio setani amemwekea hiyo talanta. Si ni Mungu anaekea tu talanta ama ni setani? Ah ni Mungu. Ni Mungu anamwekea okay. talanta. Lakini nguo ya mama wewe nayo kanisani ni talanta. Talanta ya kubangwa mama wewe pia. Okay, acha ni kuelesha. Ni wapi kule andikwa tingurefu hivi ni ya mama? Ah niambia. Ah ni wapi imeandikwa tingurefu hivi ni ya mama? So wewe unaona kama alifanya vizuri. Ali mimi hakuna mtu yote alikosea mtu. Ajiti anajiita mama yake. Ile na maisha ni ubaguzi wa rangi na ubaguzi wa hivi mwana mama. Wewe unajua hiyo? Ndio natafuta. Ubaguzi wa 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 wa, wa, wa jinene wa kuva. Wa, wa jinsi. Wa jinsi. <laughs> Nitafutia hiyo Kiswahili vizuri. Any ladies and gentlemen to do another story na wajiri. Ah uh, industry yako. Ah uh, hiyo maneno kusema ukweli MC Amata I want to apologize on behalf of other MCs mm. that was bad kwa hiyo mtu alisimamishwa kwa kanisa. Sorry pia wewe. Unafanya rusi yako pole pole umejiamulia utafuta MC wako wanakusoma mesa. Very bad. Very very bad. Swali nyingine ni kwamba swali nyingine ni ni kuwa um, ile issue ambayo inakuwa hapa. Issue ambayo inakuwa hapa ni kuwa wewe kama MC. Yes. Unapata challenge MC Onjeri. Onjeri the cricket. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Unapata challenge kwamba hautakiwi kwenye kanisa auitu ina ina a lot of occasions yes. auitu kwa sababu ya jinsi ambavyo wanasema tiju ya nywele kwanza kuweza sema na uko pulpit yes sasa what to take about this okay mimi kusema ukweli nasema kila kila kanisa iko na seria yake si ndio mm. lakini mimi nasema kuna vitu zinapitangwa na wakati mm. kuna wakati umefika ambapo lazima tukubali vitu sengeni mm. niseme sasa kama mtoto wako niseme akwendi je mm. yeah <laughs> na DJ unajua mostly wanatakanaka na vitu kama ma dreadlock na ma rasta. Mm. Si bora yeye anatoa fungu yake ya kumi. Mm. Si ndio anakuja kanisa. Mm. Anatoa fungu yake ya kumi. Mm. Unataka kuniambia kuna maji maandiko kama uko na dreadlock hautaingia binguni. Uh-huh. Ha? Uh-huh. Kuna maji kumeandikwa? Ah wewe wewe sema ah, mimi sijawaiona. Hakuna kuna. Hiyo ni ukweli. Mm. Eh, hata tukiangalia kwa kweli kwa Biblia hukua na vinyosi. Mm. Kulikuwa na kinyosi fulani ulisikia leo sijui uh, Adam ama Abraham ameenda kwa kinyosi. <laughs> Sasa kwa industry yako ah. kwa industry yako unaona kama tumewalimi sana yes. kama kanisa imewalimi kanisa kwa industry yako ya acting kwenye acting uh, industry kanisa na walimi takopa pengine uwezi kuweka dreadlocks yes in, in, in. so the church needs to adjust about that we have to adjust because mm. we, we are moving with the times mm-hmm. we can't stay mali tuliansia hata mali uliogea uwezi kaukia hapo mm. yes let us move with the times so that you can accommodate the many people that mm-hmm. are there at least kadu tumejifunga tu mahali what's your advice about um our sani ambao because of course much is expected from them what our friend wewe uingie kwa kwa matatu Anaona ni kwamba wewe you're supposed to drive. Wewe ni mtu ambaye anaheshimiwa. Maatis wako na pressure ya kwamba ya maisha they are squeezing themselves to the standard that they are not. You understand? <clears throat> That's a new perception ya watu. What's your take about it? Okay, kuna hiki kitu nitangwa fake it till you make it. Oh, that's why mna kisha kwa manyonga za 1440 na mshahara ni 2020 na mnapea watu pressure. It can be a pressure kwa nini? It comes with the territory. Mm. my friend mm. kwa sababu ndio nipate pesa mingi nataka kwenda ku MC harusi ya MP mm. una understand nakushika yes sasa nikikuja nimevaa matambara ndio hata nipatia kazi mm-hmm. unaona mm. ndio maana inabidi nitafute nimelipwa 40000 ninunue nguo ya 30000 yes una understand mm. nichukue uba mm. ya 3000 nikienda meeting ya kwanza nikijifanya hiyo gari ni yangu nifanya uh-huh. kaa mm. ndio nipate hii kazi mo Eh hey, na nikisasa hata na saa zingine unaboga umepata hii kazi unatoka unaachana na hiyo gari ya mwenyewe hapo unatembea ukirudi home na yeah. una mafuta ya kuweka kwa hiyo gari mm-hmm. una understand mm-hmm. lakini you fake it ukisanza kulipo hizo ma 50000 zitakuja mm-hmm. kujilipa huko baadaye okay. so sahihi lazima tu uteseke mm-hmm. lazima uteseke uingie serena ukunywe maji na kuna etebo pia matumbo <laughs> So public peer advice from him is that when you take compare my artist pressure sana. Yes. Na kwamba you expect you don't expect them to come matatu. Ati mungu unaniangalia vibaya unaanza kuniambia ati yeye. Mm. Ati yeye njeri kumbe unapanda matatu na sisi. Mm. <laughs> Tafadhali. Tafadhali. Ah uh, what Ojiri is saying ya kwamba mwapatie time 
kama mmekao kwa matatu yake sije ukamjaji na mkikika na yeye but again respect ya heshima ya artist na nini nini yani in the society mambo yanakuwa hivyo eh lakini kama umekaa mbele